everybody about the buy here. Not Day and a ton of other things, but but uh, all the work with the set with the site and everything, and then Chief not being able to make live and nobody else being able to fill in for live. I'm just uh, sort of scrambling to try and get everything taken care of in time to make it back. So, with that said, let's get into the plays of the day. The obvious guys you're going to want you to start your poll with on DraftKings are Tyus Jones, Dylan Brooks, and then you get into a bunch of other stuff. Um, I think there's a, a, a nice side, I think there's some reason to, to try and fade a chalky Dylan Brooks in some tournaments. Uh, his minutes are still in flux. The team has got a lot of bodies. Uh, they could win this game handily. There's a lot of things about this that that I, I feel like it's good chalk if you're playing a cash game, but I don't know if I want to do it in a tournament. But Tyus Jones and Brooks are a good place, place to start your lineups. Your other pivots on, on Memphis are, I think, what, what I'm going to end up trying to get more involved in and maybe even get a little stack in this game. I like Steven Adams. I don't think he's going to be particularly low-owned. I love Desmond Bain. Uh, I think Kyle Anderson is worth taking a flyer on, and I think De Jaron Jackson will be the lower lower owned uh, of all these guys. So I really like him. And then I will take a, a long shot wild card chance at either DeAnthony Melton or Zaire Williams because I could I feel like this game could go a lot of different ways that they could end up getting some more run than they're projected for. And uh, without Ja, obviously anybody on the court is going to have much more usage than usual. Indiana is going to be very hard to figure out, but like I do like a run back as part of something you could do. Uh, depending on whether Brogdon or Duarte play, I think Buddy Heald is very interesting. And if Brogdon plays, I think he's the interesting run back over there. Um, the other ones that are a little bit of, of focuses for me, I, I don't have anybody as a target that I need to play in Brooklyn and Orlando. I think that Wendell Carter is a really good play, but at his ownership, I don't mind to fade. Kind of like Cole Anthony and RJ Hampton. I think RJ Hampton people are afraid to go to because of some of the low scoring results. He has a, he definitely has upside, and this is a matchup where he should be on the court for quite a bit because they're going to want him to guard Kyrie. I don't mind if you want to mix in some Wagner, um, but that's sort of what I've got. I'm, uh, I do have a priority on Bam over Jimmy Butler on DraftKings, and I like both of them, but I, I prefer Bam by quite a bit. This is nothing revolutionary. The guy who I'm choosing for my main spend up and will be in most of my lineups on DraftKings is Devin Booker. Anyone who's afraid to pay the price can go ahead and be afraid. I am not going to be. CJ McCollum is going to be a little more popular on draft kit on, on FanDuel, but I love McCollum as well. So Booker and McCollum, I love as a one v one run back. And then some get weird plays are, are what I just wanted to highlight. Um, Marvin Bagley is a get weird play that might that has some upside here. Uh, Kelly Olynyk, as Sheets mentioned earlier, is maybe a weird play to get a little, but you can go for some upside. Uh, Duncan Robinson, uh, a weird play. I mentioned the Anthony Melton already. Uh, depending on what happens with the front court for Indy, anybody, anybody who's starting or if, if Matate is out, you can even go to the backups and, and take some shots there. Um, get weird on FanDuel. I think you can play, you know, some Mo Bamba um, and, and maybe not play Drummond over there. But I do like Drummond a little bit better. But again, I, I'm willing to take it at lower ownership. And I'm just looking at through my early build on FanDuel to see if there's anything else I'm forgetting. I think Durant is more of a guy you want to get in over there. I think Carter's more of a guy you want to get in over there. Um, I think Herb Jones is kind of interesting over there, uh, but pretty much it's, it's those guys. And then I think Goran Dragic is another guy you can use. So that's sort of a general outlook of what I'm doing this slate. I'm going to be live. It's probably going to be a little bit later today, like probably closer to six Eastern, maybe even a tiny bit later, but I will be live with you guys and I should be able to do it through lock. It just might be a little bit later today because it is a mad scramble to try trying to get stuff done today. So anyway, good luck to us. Let's take, let's win some money and uh, yeah. Good luck, everybody.